Hello, everyone. Welcome to Apache Khan. I'm David Dai, uh, the Apache Dolphin Scattered PMC Chair. And uh, today I want to uh, show you the architecture evolution of Apache Dolphin Scheduler. First, I will want to introduce about uh, Dolphin Scheduler. Apache Auto Dolphin Scheduler is a cloud native visual interface big data workflow platform. And uh, this project was created in 2017 and uh, it open source in uh, 2019 uh, March and uh, joined the Apache incubator in August in the same year. And uh, in this year, uh, this project became the top level project in Apache in April uh, 2021. Apache Dolphin Scheduler dedicated to solve the complex job dependency in the data pipeline and uh, provide various types of uh, data jobs uh, data jobs connectors mm -hmm. what do we need for a data scheduler platform first we want a visualized uh, graph interface and uh, we can make the job simple and easy to operate a real task and uh, we can uh, do the real-time virtual task log and uh, also we want a cloud native platform that means we can elastic scaling and high availability is very good and uh, we want to do some uh, failure retry and want, we want to roll back and do some uh, follow current and easy maintenance and uh, third for a, a, a scalar platform we want to support multitask types and uh, cross language such like such like a Python, Scala, Java, and uh, uh, so on. And also we want to support customized task plugins and uh, easy to extend. Fourth, we want to we want a, a platform that uh, we, we we can do self to support self dependent tasks and also support uh, several kinds of uh, workflow dependency. And uh, also uh, in, in FIPS, we, we want a, a data platform, a data schedule platform that we can uh, alert, make some alert warnings via email, SMS, uh, and uh, other uh, SMS platforms. And also uh, the six, we want to do some uh, complement. For example, we perhaps there's some error uh, in the uh, workflow, and then we want to refresh the historical data. So that's uh, uh, Apache Dolphin scheduler do, and uh, we just created this, this project. And uh, many users use do Apache Dolphin scheduler, such as IBM, uh, Accenture, Nokia and uh, also Walmart and McDonald's and also many, many uh, uh, companies in China. And also uh, VMware and uh, Huawei use uh, Apache Dolphin Scheduler for, for their uh, big data uh, scheduler platform. And uh, there are several advantages for Dolphin Scheduler. Uh, first, it's uh, simple and easy. Uh, you see it support uh, visualize the DAG user interface. And uh, we create a workflow definition just through drag and drop. And uh, we provide many open API and uh, we just one click, you can just uh, deploy the Dolphin scheduler very easily. And uh, because we support user uh, DAG user interface, so many data scientists and many data analysts uh, love, uh, love our platform because they care they can create their own data mining job or their 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 uh, their uh, data 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 processing job by themselves. Uh, not 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 uh, not 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 have to uh, to acquire for the data platform engineers. And the second, we just uh, uh, do a very high reliability. We design this uh, project using uh, decentralized and uh, multi multi master and multi workers so it's a uh, cloud native design so you don't worry about 
uh, if one master or one worker failed, and then your job is not finished uh, in the processing. And also, we use the task queue to avoid overload. You can de define your own priority for the tasks. And uh, also, we do a lot of fault tolerant capabilities. So that's a high re uh, reliability. And uh, also, we uh, offer a lot of uh, rich usage scenarios. The first, we support uh, multi-tenant. So in your company, you can create many uh, multi-tenant for um, uh, one talent for one department, and then you can create other uh, talent for other department, and then you can divide the resource very easily. And uh, also, we support pause and the resume operations. That's very important because uh, sometimes you have to, uh, uh, to, 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 to debug your uh, tasks. Then you can just uh, pause the task and, uh, can you re and then you can do some, uh, uh, some uh, data check or do some uh, data, uh, data, uh, data corrections. Then you can resume the operations. And also, we support various uh, task types. We support chair, a shell, a MapReduce, a Spark, a SQL, like uh, MySQL, Postgres, Hive, and Spark SQL, and we support Python. And also, we support sub workflow and a support procedure, and so on. We, we support many, many uh, various task types. And also, you can create your own types by SPI, uh, I will introduce later. And uh, this project is uh, cloud native. It's uh, easily uh, scale, uh, it's, a, it's a elastic scalability. And also, uh, capacity, uh, capacity growth aligning with the cluster nodes. So, uh, you can create your own uh, scheduler uh, platform. Uh, with Dolphin Scheduler, no matter how big your job is or how how many your uh, job is. So this uh, Dolphin Scheduler some advantage. And uh, because this uh, Dolphin Scheduler is uh, have many has has many uh, advantage, it's very popular in China. Uh, China Unicom uh, is uh, one of the biggest uh, telecom company in China. Uh, it has uh, more than uh, about ten, uh, 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 about ten thousand, uh, uh, one hundred, sorry, one hundred thousand jobs uh, per day, and uh, uh, it uh, has uh, about uh, uh, one thousand uh, uh, Hadoop cluster, and uh, then uh, China Utcom has uh, about uh, forty. Uh, clusters about the uh, Apache Dolphin scheduler to handle with his many jobs. And uh, he, in China Unicom, its purpose is to schedule Spark, Hive, and Map Reduce job. And also, he has many store procedure, shell, and other resources. And uh, he wants a, a platform that can cross system uh, and also cross application, cross language, and uh, Want to cross IDC? IDC means uh, there's there's many uh, IDC IDC uh, uh, server rooms. So he wants something. Uh, want a, a platform to do a job across the IDC servers, IDC IDC rooms, and uh, then they want to achieve a global and transparent scheduling. So this is a the chart is from China Unicom. And uh, he used uh, Dolphin Scheduler to handle with uh, complex and diverse job definition. And uh, it has many, many scheduling strategies, including parent child process, parallel, serial, uh, dependency, and uh, uh, many interface. So also, he wants a, a resource load balancing for efficient scheduling because he has so many jobs and uh, uh, the, then he wants a task group and uh, he wants a concurrency control 
and uh, want to dynamic, uh, dynamic ad, 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 adjustment for priority for task. And uh, Belfast scheduler just support these functions. And uh, uh, China Youth come do a comparison with many uh, open source and a commercial uh, data schedulers. And finally, he choose Apache Dolphin scheduler as his, uh, as his uh, data uh, scheduler platform. And also, there's another um, company called uh, Qianxin. It's uh, a very big company uh, net, uh, about uh, network uh, uh, security in China. Uh, and uh, he has uh, uh, more than uh, 10,000 jobs per day. And uh, he just uh, choose Dolphin Scheduler because Dolphin Scheduler is, has a very, uh, very strong uh, functions. For example, first he liked the uh, uh, distributed and the easy to extend this function about uh, uh, Dolphin Scheduler. And also he liked the realization. Uh, he, he just liked his scientists and data an analysis, not only the uh, data engineers to drag in a job, to generate the, the jobs. And also, uh, he liked the multi types of types, uh, so many uh, test types, and he can develop his own data types very easily. And uh, also, uh, like a Dolphin scheduler to, to handle with a complex uh, scheduling. And also, uh, he liked the cluster high availabilities uh, because Dolphin scheduler is a decentralized design. So he can handle with his uh, jobs very easily and very stable. stable. And also, uh, Dolphin Scatter support multi tenant. So, different role can use the same account. Uh, so, it's very good for a uh, uh, security, for a uh, security service company. And also, uh, there's, uh, there's another function called online resource file management. Uh, you need to upload your your uh, your code to Hadoop server uh, or to a FTP server. You just uh, click and uh, upload your file to Dolphin Scheduler, and the Dolphin Scheduler will deploy your your files to Hadoop servers. And also, uh, he liked the, the function about the task failure retry and alert, because we can define retry times. And sometimes you can you know uh, the Hadoop server is not so stable you know, you have to you try time and retry the job if three times the job will will be okay uh, then if you it still failure you can just uh, uh, email or uh, have have a sms or have a phone call to your admin so he just like the function uh, about dolphin scheduler in that in that case and also there's another practice in analysis Analysis is uh, 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 is a very big a big data service company in China, and he has a, 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 a product called Tianfen. It's a SaaS service apps that uh, uh, need to process tens of millions of data each day, and uh, it have about uh, uh, six and uh, six hundred and twenty million uh, MAU. That means. Uh, a monthly active user, so so many many people use uh, Chenfan SDK, and uh, uh, this big data platform process about uh, uh, six and six point eight uh, uh, PB for big data, and uh, there's uh, thousands tens of thousands of ETL tasks processing each day, and uh, so just like the the graph on the on the right, uh, the Data analyst and also the data developers just uh, use this tool to design their own uh, ETL task and uh, to handle with uh, so many, many jobs and uh, so many big data each day and uh, support this uh, data platform to, to handle with uh, 620 million uh, um, monthly active users. So you can see. Uh, Apache Dolphin Scheduler is uh, easily used 
and uh, it's very stable for big data processing system. And also for the community, uh, there's many, many uh, contributors in China and all over the world. Uh, there's a, a contributor from uh, ByteDance, from Alibaba, from Jingdong, from Unicom, and uh, from Baidu, and from eBay, and uh, many, many uh, contributors. Now we have uh, more than uh, 250 contributors, and also uh, about uh, uh, seven contributors, about, a contri about a, uh, document contributors. So, I will introduce uh, some main functions about Apache Dolphin Scheduler. First, uh, Dolphin Scheduler is a DAG form and uh, real-time monitoring of uh, task status. And it supports many tasks uh, like uh, MapReduce, like uh, SQL, uh, like Spark. And also, it supports workflow priority and the task priority. And uh, we have uh, global parameters and the customized parameters. That's very important because uh, you, you want your task to transfer, transfer some uh, parameters to, from one uh, task to another task, uh, or from one workflow to another workflow. We support that. And also, uh, we support workflow scheduling. Uh, and, uh, many, uh, and also, we support uh, manual impacts and we support pause, stop, and resume. And uh, we support multi-tenant, uh, work, support worker group, uh, complement, and online log viewing and uh, resource online management. Uh, we support uh, system monitoring and uh, task timeout failure alert, uh, uh, some strategy. And uh, this is a decentralized design so it it's, ensures that stability and high availability of the system. And also it's uh, easy to scale and uh, uh, it supports stable operations, about uh, 1 million volumes of uh, data types per day. And you can see the interface uh, about, the word, about the workflow management, the very light, the drag and, drag and drop workflow configuration you just uh, uh, drive, drag some uh, components and uh, drop in the in the covers. Then you can create a, a task, and it, you can just uh, use a uh, click to connect the two jobs to de de to uh, to define the the trigger and the dependency. And also, we can support sub workflow because if your workflow is is too many. Uh, if you, you want to create a very big workflow and uh, you, you have to divide it in some sub workflow where you, your, your canvas will be so crowded. So we support sub workflow and uh, able to also uh, able to reuse of the data handle process. And then just like a sub function, you can use other uh, workflow uh, in other sub, sub workflow in uh, new workflow then you can for example you can you can uh, use uh, import and uh, data persistent workflow and then you can use this uh, workflow in other workflows and uh, then you can avoid to repeat it uh, configuration and the development and uh, this is uh, we have a, a status of a realization of a running workflow uh, this is a, a, a graph you can see uh, the if if uh, one node is uh, passed is uh, is uh, successfully running, uh, then if there has a, a red click, a uh, green click on the top. If uh, it has some problem, you can see there is a, will be a, a a red flag on the top. So you can we just uh, design uh, a what we call a, a running status, uh, just uh, different from your design status. Then you can tuning and debug your workflow in a running uh, running running status so uh, that's different from uh, the design 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 uh, design work so when you are in a, a running running status you can rerun retry task and track the task status 
you can see all the task logs in, in the uh, monitor uh, side. And uh, you can see the grant, uh, grant, uh, uh, grant graph uh, in, in for, for workflow. And uh, also, you can see we, we support multi-dimension monitoring. You can see the task status statics. And also, you can see the uh, uh, processing instance. And you can track the task execution status. And more important, we support task execution log. You can view the task execution log online. You need to log on the Hadoop server or log on the Spark server to see the log. You can just view the log from the Dolphin catalog. This is very helpful for the developers. You can see the log, what's wrong, just a click. Uh, in, in the uh, monitor mo monitoring uh, web page. And now I will introduce some architecture design about uh, Dolphin Scheduler. Uh, the Dolphin Scheduler in the 1.2 version, we just uh, designed for uh, 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 multi worker and a multi uh, master server. Uh, you can see there is a that task queen for worker to get the, the jobs from master and also you can see uh, there is a uh, we, we we just use the DB as a database as a, a, a centralized uh, handle uh, part so in this architecture you can see we we just uh, DB database is uh, very important in this architecture and also we get uh, a lock from a, a zookeeper and also, you can see uh, that uh, perhaps there will be a problem like uh, uh, from a zookeeper or database. So, in uh, architecture 1.3, we reduce the pressure on the uh, data databases. We just the uh, worker will straight operate the database. Uh, there's a single responsibility. Uh, we will not use the uh, master and worker also read and write the database. And uh, we just uh, use the master and worker communicate directly to re reduce the lat latency. So that will be, that will let your job uh, uh, run more fast uh, when the uh, concurrent job is very high. And uh, we use a multi uh, use ma ma uh, use a master multi strategy to distribute a task. That uh, means we just uh, support load balancing strategies. For example, we support worker uh, uh, load balance strategy like uh, Redden, uh, round robin, and a liner max maximum based on CPU and memory. And that let uh, your worker will uh, run the job with uh, various of uh, various of ways, then you can design your uh, data platform uh, with, uh, with a very high load balance. And that's the design architecture uh, of uh, 1.3. You can see we just uh, uh, use a, a dispatcher and an acknowledge response from a worker and a master. And uh, we just uh, uh, use, use the master to fetch the, uh, the the task status from a database and uh, we uh, optimize the the, uh, the uh, data lock from the zookeeper uh, which i will introduce later so this is the activity diagram for uh, uh, 1.3 uh, dolphin scheduler uh, first we from ui we will start a process and uh, the API server will build the command, and uh, uh, the database will produce the uh, command. And uh, then we will go to the master. Uh, master will uh, scheduler, there's a thread of, of uh, scheduler scan. We require the distributed lock from the zookeeper, and uh, also release the repeated call lock from the zookeeper. And th then we handle the command uh, to uh, uh, execute the, the task. And uh, there will be some uh, uh, priority queue 
uh, and the task consumer, and also we do the load balancer select, and uh, then if uh, when the when the select the, the one task, we will use the dispatcher to inform the task execution processor in the worker, and uh, then uh, one way we just uh, uh, acknowledge uh, to the master to tell the to tell the master we just uh, you know got this uh, task. And also, we just uh, use a task execution processor to execute the, the task. And uh, when finished, we will respond to the to the uh, master. And the master will uh, position this one to a task instance. So this one is a uh, activity diagram in 1.3. And uh, also, we will support a new UI uh, in Dolphin Scheduler uh, 2.0. You can see. Uh, in the former, uh, uh, in the former uh, Dolphin scheduler, uh, the user interface is uh, not so beautiful. <laughs> so thanks for China Mobile and uh, and his team just uh, redesigned the whole uh, Apache Dolphin scheduler, uh, the user interface, and uh, let the user user interface to more easily to use. And now I want to share some uh, architecture design of uh, 2.0. Uh, in 2.0, just uh, we do some high performance master ref refactor refactors. The first, uh, we want to reduce the uh, polling uh, the database, and then we remove the distributed locks, and then the third, we reduce the thread usage. So I will introduce one by one. Uh, in the former, in 1.3 architecture design, you can see we just uh, get the uh, uh, distributed logs uh, from uh, Zcuper, and then we pull in command from database, and then we generate a workflow uh, instance. And uh, for the master execution thread, we will build the DAG graph and the polling uh, workflow instance status and uh, generate task instance. And then uh, in master task uh, execution thread, we will submit, submit the task and the pulling status of the task and a cancel or spend, spend, uh, you suspend or stop the task. Uh, but in uh, 2.0, we just uh, remove the distributed blocks to um, raise the, the, the currency and the whole performance. Um, the, the way is uh, like that. We just uh, let the master to calculate his own command slot by algorithm according his own distributed number. And then uh, master query, query the database uh, according to the slot and obtain the command. And then we generate a workflow instance. And then we can build DAG and uh, generate task instance and the submit task to the RAM. So uh, there's a no more uh, zookeeper bottleneck in this version. So this is uh, the architecture design for the removal distributed logs. And if you have some uh, new idea, the design, uh, design ideas, you can just uh, join the Slack channel or just email, uh, email list. And also about the refactor, the thread model in the master, uh, in 1.3 architecture design, uh, we just uh, use use one main thread pool to execute all DAG workflows. And uh, during the execution of the main thread pool, a tax thread pool is created for each workflow. That means that we will have many, many thread in the same time if you have many, many uh, tasks. Uh, then workflow uh, the master can process concurrent, concurrently this M, then the path, then the task can be processed the concurrency Rn, and then that will be generate M multiple N threads. So there's many, many threads if you have many, many jobs. Then we refactor this one in 2.0. We just refactor the thread model in the master. We just uh, get a command from the command table in fragments and the constructs a workflow instance and the starts a workflow execution thread processing. Then we construct a DAG and a DAG is pleased 
and generate the task instance and submit them to task queue. And, then, and second, we handle the task status and the workflow status changes. So at last, we just monitor the, the task and workflow timeout uh, and uh, receive the task status and uh, workflow status to change events sent by another uh, by other workflow and uh, by other uh, master and workers and uh, submit it to workflow execution thread for, for the status processing. So that's uh, what we do in 2.0. And you, if you have some uh, good idea, you can just email us and uh, join the Slack channel. And uh, also, we have a strong function in 2.0 we call the plugin and the server provider interface, SPI. Uh, there's many, many uh, requirements when in the community uh, that uh, many users want to create their own uh, task uh, or data connectors to support RPC, to support DataX, or to support many uh, other jobs. Uh, so in the, in the former time, in the uh, old version, uh, we have to uh, to uh, to to change the code from the uh, core component, and it's not easy to design uh, users' own plugins. Now we just uh, do the uh, uh, now we just uh, do uh, the refactor about the server provider interface, and uh, we just uh, you can just. Uh, do the all extensions implemented by through the plugins. For example, if you want to have your own alarm uh, uh, plugin, you can use alarm SPI, uh, registry SPI, resource stories SPI, task plugin SPI, and the data source SPI. Then you can support more uh, a database data source and more task plugin and more uh, resource storage. So that's what we do in 2.0. 2 and uh, by, the, by SPI, for example, you can use it, uh, use it to, to, to fulfill your data component integration. Uh, currently, uh, there's uh, over 10 task types uh, may not meet your requirement. Then you can easily build a plugin by yourself using uh, SPI. For example, you can support cattle task. You can support data synchronize the task. You can uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can do a SQL task or a procedure task in your data development. And uh, you also you can design and uh, develop your own data quality plugin. And uh, you just uh, do it uh, in 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 data uh, task plugin. It's very easy. Just like a plugin, plug and a, a play and a plugin. Sorry, sorry for the word. <laughs> a play and a plugin. You're just uh, very easily to use. And uh, also, you can do the, the task priority uh, because there's uh, no priority design and, and a fair scalability design in early version. Now we just uh, design a new version, and uh, uh, the task is submitted first make complete at the same time with the with the letter uh, and uh, we can uh, can just uh, design the low priority service run first or uh, and uh, sometimes the occupier not releasing the resources then we have some uh, solutions uh, so our solutions is uh, use uh, different processing priorities uh, and uh, processing uh, sequence and then uh, we we consider about the task instance of priority. Then we consider about the task instance sequence. So default is the first in and first out. And uh, now you can design your own task priority uh, with uh, uh, your on your own configurations. So there's a roadmap. So there's a roadmap about uh, uh, future. Uh, we will release uh, 2.0 alpha will be released in October this year. Uh, it, so that means uh, October 2021. And uh, we just uh, do some intelligent DAG generation 
uh, through task lineage relationship. That means you need them to uh, drag and drop each uh, DAG dependencies. You just uh, tell tell the doctor scheduler how the task lineage relationship. Then we can uh, generate the DAG itself, and also we want to support more function about the dependency and the DAG uh, graph generation automatically. And if you have some uh, requirements, and uh, you can just uh, tell us in the Slack channel, and uh, we are we will be very happy to discuss with you. And uh, we will support uh, passing SDK in the near future. And also, we have a, a simple data quality component for you to control the data quality through the Dolphin scheduler, because your job is all on, all on the Dolphin scheduler. We, we know your metadata, and then we can handle with your uh, data quality and warn you, uh, warn you about the, the data quality change, or warn you by some uh, email or SMS to tell you some, what's wrong with the data quality. And that's a very simple question, a simple function. And uh, if you want to more function, you can discuss with us. And now we, uh, and in the future, we will support the task for continual container, uh, container scheduling. And uh, also we will do some CI, CD and other system integration. That's our roadmap. And uh, if you want to discuss with us, you can just uh, join us about the community. Now we uh, we have a, a, a web page. You can just uh, search the Apache Dolphin scheduler in Google or other search engine. You can just uh, go to our, our main page, or you in the main page you can see our email group and the, the the Slack channel. You can tell us in the Slack channel. And if you want to be uh, one contributor, you can just uh, by the following ways, you can just uh, practice uh, in 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 hand in handle with a document. Uh, you know uh, our English is not very good, so welcome to to crack the arrows in our English document. And uh, you can just uh, do some tests, and you can contribute code. You can write articles, and uh, you can join the meetups, and uh, you can answer some questions in the Slack channel or in the email list. And welcome to join the contributor team. And uh, you can just uh, uh, join the team by uh, by uh, just uh, sub uh, uh, submit your first PR. And uh, we find some easy issue for the first uh, developer for the beginners. You can just uh, find an issue uh, with with a tag easy to fix mark, and uh, you can just uh, fix it. And uh, it's very very simple. And I try to fix it and sub submit a PR, and uh, we are welcome you to join the community. And uh, this is our website, hpsdolphinscheduler.apache.com. And our GitHub issue, you, you can just uh, go to the uh, this uh, uh, GitHub to find the issue, and you just uh, can uh, send an email to dev.dolphinscheduler.apache.org. And you can also, if you want to submit the mail list, you can send an email to that uh, uh, su uh, subscriber at dolphinscheduler.apache.org. And I welcome you to join the Slack channel. Uh, I and uh, our PMC member will be in the Slack channel to talk with you. And if you have some uh, great idea, some good idea, or some new proposal about uh, a scheduler project, you just uh, tell us, and uh, uh, we are waiting for you in the Slack channel. And uh, you can uh, just uh, watch our uh, Twitter uh, sc Dolphin schedule, schedule uh, because the uh, scheduler is too long. And so our Twitter is a uh, Dolphin schedule. So uh, that's all about uh, uh, today's talk. And uh, thank you for your listening. And uh, uh, you are welcome to join us. And uh, you are very welcome to give us some advice. Thank you, thank you very much. That's all, thank you.